All right, good morning, everybody. We're here on our uh, shakedown cruise. We just got the trailer out of winterization and we're gonna be taking it down the Kenai Peninsula here in a couple of days. Went out on a uh, hike this morning and uh, this area is uh, spawning grounds for salmon here in the, uh, the Willowa Creek area. We found a bunch of the remains of last year's salmon, a lot of the fish skeletons and uh, their jaw bones are actually very interesting. The kids found those very interesting. So we thought we'd take a quick video of it, show you what, uh, what we've seen and uh, bring you along for the ride. So let's do a real little rewind. This is called Fisheries Habitat Enhancement. Gravel extraction in the Portage Valley has been a common practice dating back to the 1960s. The quality gravel found here is beneficial to railroad and highway repairs, as well as the development of local homes and businesses. Well, by working closely with contractors, the Forest Service has converted the remaining gravel pits into rearing ponds for juvenile salmon and char. The channels have also been created to connect Portage Creek with these ponds to provide access for juvenile fish and additional spawning habitat for adult salmon. Well, since these artificial channels often lack the complexity that's needed to provide valuable fish habitat, materials such as trees, root wads, and boulders are added to provide cover for fish and create more pools and riffles, and that gives the channel a more natural appearance. So when you look around here, you see a lot of these used to be gravel. Signs of spring. Popping up. I found this one on a bridge. Cool. Let's see how small that is. Like, they were even big. So all along the uh, riverbank here, we have the remains of these salmon. And I hadn't seen this before, but so when I first saw it, I was trying to figure out what on earth it was. And the only thing it could possibly be is the salmon. But check out these teeth and jaws here. I did not realize that, I mean, I knew salmon were a predatory fish, but I did not realize that their teeth were quite so aggressive. Oh, of course. I might think how that works. No, it's probably the other way around. I think it's this way? I think they open their mouth this way. So let's have a shot. Okay, Jed, what do you have? I have these two ones and this teeth. Have knee teeth. Got knee jaws. It's pretty cool. Oh, hello. <laughs> because there's this lake right here that we can take the kids over and just let them play. It's really peaceful and it's not too far from our house, which is always convenient for a one night camping trip. So as we're leaving our campsite, you'll see on the side of the road that the side of the highway is pretty much makeshift camping tons of people and they are hooligan dip netting.
All right, so that wraps up our shake down cruise and trailer. We are all set to head to the Kenai Peninsula here in a couple of weeks, and uh, we look forward to bringing you along on that trip as well. So we'll be looking forward to that. In the meantime, just want to say thanks for coming along uh, this time and seeing what we had to see down here in the Portage area. Checking out those salmon jaws was pretty cool. Uh, while you're waiting for the Kenai video to come up, uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that other good YouTube stuff. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.